Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are going to be making ourselves a sugarcane farm and also experimenting a little bit with uh, hopper carts. I've never used them, so I hope you guys are ready. So today, I think we're going to work on a auto farm and then, like, we're going to work on an auto, auto sugarcane farm for today. Um, and then we're also going to go for, I don't know, revitalizing some of the farm that we do have that we're not going to be able to automate, such as making a vineyard. I think we can make a very nice looking a uh, grape vineyard sort of type thing. Um, and then also, it'll, we'll also have sort of a, a sugarcane slash hemp seed farm going, because I think these will grow at roughly the same speed. Uh, and they're they're roughly the same type. Uh, one is, all of course, one taller, where this is only one high, but they do function similarly. So that will be something that's not going to be too difficult. Now, let's go grab some solar urns, because I know we're going to need a bunch of them. Uh, that's the thing with pistons. Pistons require soul urns, and uh, we're gonna need every single soul urn that we can get out of this. So there's our soul urns. Let's throw that in there. And uh, oh, by the way, we can actually set off and start working on some soul urns. Let's actually take out all of this gunpowder, and we're gonna we're gonna throw in some of this over here. And when that inputs. That's going to start making more soul urns. So that should input fast enough. At least I think so. That next time this goes through, we should see this one pop off, right? We just got to wait. Yep, there it goes. And that netted us another soul urn. Pretty nice. So all you got to do, like I said, is just throw that there and that will start that process. So let's go ahead and clean up some of this bone mill and our soul urns, and we'll eat a little bit. All right, so where shall I put the sugarcane farm? Sugarcane automation. Um, well, most likely I will put it probably underneath one of, uh, probably underneath this machine here. I think that's going, or underneath this building, and we're gonna extend this even further down, and I think we're gonna push in this direction. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna push further down, and we're gonna make this very similar, but it's gonna be a little bit bigger of a room in that regards. So let me just go ahead and clear this out, um, and I'll make my way down because uh, we're gonna need it to be a little bit deeper than this was. But on this one, we can actually turn it, so we can have this step down a couple. And then we can turn, route, and have it go back around. Pretty cool. So I'm going to get this dug out. Shouldn't take me too long to dig this out. And then we're going to get set up on uh, how to actually get the sugarcane farm to work properly. All right. So I have the whole room kind of going down here. So what I did is I just made it where it goes down. I, I still need to replace this. This was just temporary as I was building on. There we go. The wood looks a lot better as you place it down. But here's the plan. On this side will be sugarcane, and on this side will be hemp. So both sides will be producing hemp, and I'll have a minecart with a hopper going around collecting the drops. That is the plan. That is what I hope will be the uh, the the way that this will go. Um, and then I'll have chest right here. Will it'll, it'll be depositing into hoppers. The hopper carts will be depositing there. Um, but there is a type of uh, plant that we can make. And that is fertilized soil. Now this stuff is really fancy because it doesn't require water. So we can make this even more compact by having this not require water here. And bam, we can plant this and this will stay fertilized. Just like that. So all we need to do now is provide a place for our pistons. And this will be the place for the pistons is this back wall here and on all sides. And what I plan on having is the observer block. One observer will go here, and then on this side, an observer will go here. So, observer will go up top. This will measure when the top piece has grown, and uh, everywhere else will just get pistons. So, let's go ahead and get our pistons set up, like so. And then on this side, we'll have pistons set up. Now, this may pose one little issue with the pistons going here 
is that I'm gonna have to power these guys. The Normally the easier way to power them is from the top. But I'm gonna have to power them from the back. And to get back here is going to be a little bit challenging with our redstone. Uh, mainly because redstone acts kind of funny whenever it's uh, placed on the back end of something. So let me let me just demonstrate. Let's get some redstone. And we'll get a lever. And I'll kind of show you here. So if I put redstone back here, this will not actually power this piston, will it? No. So as you can see, having it like this will not work. Having it on top though would work. But the problem is, is we'll end up with this situation where this block is open and exposed here, and I don't want that to be like that. So what I'll have to do is run redstone, I'll run a redstone signal, and in between each we'll have a repeater. So that'll be the, the easiest way to split up all of our redstone signals, is by running a repeater to them. Um, because we could, if we set it up like this, you can see that it's still doesn't work like intended. But if we put repeaters in between, let's take a look at repeaters. Which we may need to make a few of them. And that's the clock, the gold is gonna be an issue. I may have to go mining for gold. That's gonna be something that I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> it's called gold mining. Wow, I can't believe I am that low. Actually, you know, I was actually processing some gold at the base that may be we may have just enough, I don't know, to make a few more repeaters. But, I don't know. Let me go check, and I'll be right back. Oh! I have... Okay, yeah. I totally forgot, but yeah, I was processing some gold. I just didn't know exactly how much I had processing. So, let's go ahead and get some of these repeaters made. Um... These require the clocks. We may have to go make some more of this stone, which is super easy. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to provide it with some more redstone. Redstone's going to be something that we're going to need a bit of. Alright, let's see. How many of these can we make? Where'd they go? That was one. This type of brick does not work. Okay. And we'll grab some normal stone, because that's what we're going to need. And alright, so I have to head all the way back. I do have my glider, which does make it a little bit faster traveling back and forth. I could use my horse, that's what I've been doing. Let's go ahead and make some of this. There we go. That will work. That'll be enough for right now anyways. Perfect. Let's make uh, three. We're missing r these redstone torches. There's nine. That'll at least get us one side done for right now. Um, and then I do have redstone blocks. I can convert the redstone back over. Okay. So yeah, all we have to do is go back and then get our redstone set up and we can at least get the shear cane going. And I think that would work out just fine. But yeah, on the back here, so what we're gonna have is we'll have redstone signal going here and we'll just split this up, like so. You know what, that's only four. I think we have enough to do the other side. That is, we have just enough. See, so yeah, we'll need a little two by two space back here as well. Just so we have enough room. There we go. I think that's, yep, yeah, that's it. And we'll have one here. We'll have to have this all cleared out. Well, there'll be plenty. We'll have... Once we get this set up, this will be, like I said, completely automated and we won't have to worry about it. We'll just come down here and be like, um, oh, now I need some hemp, so I, I have some. Let's just grab some and be good to go. Perfect. Awesome. So, um, this one should be done. Now, the only thing on this one is the observer block is going to be in a weird position. I don't think... I, I know the observer block will detect the piston. But I don't know if it will cause it to go crazy with the piston there. If anything, we may have to place the observer block in a different place. 
in in some form or fashion um, for for the hemp. I don't know. The hemp hemp's gonna be a little weird one. Um, let's get some sugar cane. We can go ahead and get this planted. And this will gr also grow on this stuff, by the way, this fertilized soil. Um, okay, and then on this one, we can put the observer block. This is going to be a little bit weird, but we'll we'll get this going. We'll place the observer block facing this direction. Let's get a block here. The observer is going to look in this direction, and it's going to output a redstone signal over here. Let's get this set up. And this is where a redstone is going to come in handy. We may have to actually mine for some more redstone. I don't know. I don't know if we have enough redstone. That may be a thing. But, here we go. We'll just uh, move this redstone signal out this way, tie into that. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to need some more <laughs> redstone. As you can see here, we're going to need some redstone. Let's get this light up. Get some light in there so mobs don't spawn. And uh, we can kind of test this out. So, that there. That will spit out the... the uh, it'll spit this up and we'll have a rail cart running through both of these. Uh, picking up the dropped items. So, that's what we'll, we'll set up here in a minute. But first, I gotta go mining for some more redstone. So, I'll be back. I <laughs> will see you guys in just a bit. So, I actually didn't have to do any mining at all. Because I was like, oh yeah, I totally forgot. I had redstone inside of my uh, my aircraft. So that worked out perfectly. I didn't have to have it at all. Uh, or didn't have to go mine for any. Um, and that was like my main, the main thing holding me back here. So, all right, so this last bit, um, we're gonna have that observer facing this direction. So let's place a piston or block there. And we'll place our observer facing in that direction. All right, it's gonna detect block updates. Now, the question I have is, is this going to break everything with it being connected like this? See, I've not experimented too much with these observer blocks, so... This is all new to me. So let's grab some hemp. And we'll also grab some bone mill. What we'll do is we'll set that here. Oh no. We've we've done broke Minecraft. Yep, Minecraft is is broken. Oh my. We do not want to do that. Okay. Um Man, I um the only other thing I can think is maybe ch uh, check growth stages down here. Will that work? Will that work? Uh, let's let's try that out, cause that was a bit on the uh, um, yeah crazy side of things. Okay, that places it downward. I don't want that to be the case. There we go. All right, and this should detect each time the seed is grown, right? So it knows when that's grown. It knows when that happens. It knows when that happens. It knows when that happens. Wait, why did that pop off? Is it because there's not enough light here? It's probably because there's not enough light. Grow, grow, grow. Breaks completely. Can this not be next to stuff? We may not be able to do hemp this way. Huh. Well, if anything, we can just turn this back into, you know, into a normal uh, sugarcane farm. Why not? Okay. We'll just do sugarcane then. Because our hemp seems to just break, and I don't know exactly what's causing it to break. Uh, maybe unless it grows in natural cycles, it doesn't break? I have no idea. 
I'm kind of, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of lost on that. Well, anyways, <laughs> all right, so this, yeah, hemp is apparently not gonna work like this. So we're gonna have to figure out another type of farm for the hemp. But for right now, I'm just gonna convert this into a sugarcane farm, much like this one over here. And uh, we're gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna get this sugarcane farm going. Um, yeah, this is just not working on the other side. Kind of weird. Uh, but anyways, let's, um, let's just convert this over. So I've already placed this in the correct location. And that means we can flip the redstone right here and redstone and we're good to go. All right. So from this point on, that should work. We should have everything we need. There we go. Much like that. We'll get this set up. And then all we need to do now is get sugarcane going. All right, so now that I have both of these set up and ready to go, um, I'm still wondering about hemp because it, it just seems a little weird. Maybe it's because it, hemp needs like access to the sky. Uh, I even tried using one of the lamps uh, above it to see if that would work. Um, but for some reason, it just keeps breaking. Um, and I, I don't know why. So anyways, um, we're going to work on getting <laughs> the hopper stuff set up. Um, so let's get a mine cart and a hopper. So let's first make a mine cart. All right, and then we'll add a hopper to it. That'll give us a mine cart with hopper. Um, and then we're gonna need rails. So I already have some rails. Um, I think I made these because I was gonna use these uh, eventually uh, for something, I can't remember quite what. And then I'm gonna need another hopper right here. Now we can actually do two hoppers, doesn't really matter. I'll do two hoppers and a chest just to make sure it uh, it stops for it. And what I'm going to do here is place this right here. So we're going to have a ch the chest here. We're going to have the two hoppers going here. And then we're going to run the rails uh, through this way. And I think um, I can have a powered rail here. Now, wherever I place the power rails, I am going to end up breaking them. Um, so we'll have to test a little bit with the minecart and see how it actually functions. Because right here, I'll put another powered rail. And we'll see how well this thing actually functions. All right, so let's try our cart. For right now, I'm just going to use levers to activate these rails. Um, and then we'll replace that with redstone blocks uh, later on down the road. But first, let's see how this thing works. Oh yeah, that's that should be plenty fast enough. Now, let's test this out. Let's get some bone mill. And when you have bone meal on this, you can actually grow it. Much like any other plant. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grow it. Much like that. And when we get to the last one, it's gonna pop off. Now, I wanna get out of the way because I want my copper cart to pick up the stuff. And I wanna see how much it'll actually pick up. Oh, and then um, it needs some way to dispense this. And so it looks like it's doing that. Every time it goes over this, it is dropping sugarcane into here and this is actually running out. So it did miss this over here, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we might, might close this in, I don't know, on this side. We don't really need it there. But I think this is gonna work. I, I, guys, I, I really do think this is gonna work perfect. You know what? I only think we need that one rail. I don't even think we need this here. So that will stop it because they act like brakes when uh, they're no longer active like that. Oh yeah, we only need the one. That works 
plenty well enough for me. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Um, yeah, there we go. So, I've never used a hopper cart. But it looks like this is going to function really well. Now, I haven't tested this side. Nope, nope, you're going the wrong way. I haven't tested this side, but I think it will work. Um, it looks like it may have an issue picking up these. I mean, that's okay. As long as it's picking up most of the- most of the stuff, I'm okay with it. Yeah, it looks like it- looks like it still has issues picking that up, unfortunately. But, it still is working, we're getting sugarcane, and all I have to do is let this work AFK, and I'm good. We're good, guys. Well, that was a fun experience. So I did end up setting up automated sugarcane farm, which, uh, you know, takes a little bit of time. We got it set up. I'm slowly but surely working on just a few little odd and in farms here and there. Um, some automation and things like that, just to make this a little bit nicer. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys are following along and really liking uh, this series. Uh, because I am I am pushing this a little bit farther than I would normally push most series. Which is uh, kind of different for me. So I'm, I'm really taking in the experience that I am getting from this. Plus, um, I do want to mention I have a few new things that are going on. So, um, here coming this weekend, which will be um, the 14th through the 17th, I think. Yeah, 14th through the 17th. I will be on a trip. Uh, I'll be going to Mindfair, uh, Austin. So I will be um, there with FTB, and uh, we'll be having, uh, we'll be we'll be at a booth. Um, so expect me to be there. I'll probably do some kind of vlog or something if I if I have the time, um, and kind of show you guys what Minecraft or what Minecraft, what Minefair is all about. Um, but it is going to be a really cool experience for me. It'll be the first convention I've gone to. So yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be an experience. But yeah, I hope to, uh, hope to maybe see some of you guys there. You never know. I might, I might see some of you. you guys might already have had planned to be there and didn't even know I was going to be there. And then bam, we'll be able to meet. So, uh, like I said, I'll be at the FTB booth. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I know this was a shorter one, but that's okay. We have some, uh, I got a lot of work to do today, but anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.